Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So y'all, in today's video, I wanted to come on and recommend five Dooley and Burke handbags that I think is worth getting off of the pre-love market. Now, if you are Dooney and Burke lovers like myself, then you know that Dooney and Burke, they have a lot of nice archive pieces out there, y'all. And depending on when you actually started your whole Dooney and Burke um, journey, you may have missed out on some of these bags when they were actually available on the website. So these bags here, y'all, that I have pulled out, I think are definitely worth going and checking out on the pre-love market. Um, I know for me, when I go and search handbags, I typically like to shop at eBay. Um, I also like to shop at um, Macari. And then there's also a Facebook group that I follow and I've actually purchased two bags from them. I'll leave it on the screen because I can't think of the name right off y'all. And I'll also leave it in the description box below. But those are three places that I think are a really good start when it comes to just searching for those Dooney and Burt bags that you're just really wanting and longing to have in your collection. So y'all, the very first bag that I am going to be showing you all is one that was actually my unicorn bag. And this is one of the bags that I was telling y'all about that I got from this Facebook group. And when I saw it appear in the group, y'all, I just could not believe my eyes. It was like the color that I wanted, the style that I wanted. I knew that I needed to just go ahead and grab it. And I have no regrets, no regrets. So y'all, the bag that I am talking about is this one right here. This is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Kingston, y'all, in this beautiful violet color. And y'all, this bag, this bag is everything. When I saw this bag appear on that Facebook group, y'all, I was so shocked. I was so shocked. The girl who was getting rid of it, she hadn't really worn it, or so she said that she hadn't really worn it. Um, and she was just trying to kind of declutter her closet at that point. So I was actually the lucky uh, buyer <laughs> and I did swoop this back up, y'all. This bag is so nice. If y'all are familiar with Clayton, then Kingston is like his baby sister. <laughs> like this, this bag is just the perfect size. I love how it looks on me. Um, it is a shoulder bag. And I love this equestrian style, like, um, strap, y'all. Like, it's very, very nice. I think Dooney did a great job with actually uh, making this bag. Um, the organization is, like, top-notch. Uh, with the Kingston, you actually do get two pockets here on the side that are functional. And then you get two front pockets here, too, that are actually snapped. And I like to, like, typically put, like, my keys in here, y'all. Um, sanitizer, things that I'm gonna quickly reach for. So yeah, this bag I highly recommend if you want this style to check out the resale market. Um, even now on like eBay and Macara, you can find this bag. Not exactly this particular color, but there are other colors available on um, those websites. So yeah, this is the first bag that I highly, highly recommend. All right, y'all, so the next bag that I'm going to be recommending to y'all is one that does kind of reappear on the Dooney and Burke site, but it's not one that you can find all year round on the website. So the bag, y'all, that I am speaking of next is my Buckley. I, every time I pull this bag out, y'all, I am just like in awe of her beauty. This is what I call a boss chick bag. <laughs> I love this bag, y'all. So this is actually my um, Dooney and Burt Buckley in the Florentine black color. And I got this bag, y'all, one summer fun sale one year um, is when I picked this bag up. And look at that sheen, y'all. Hey, this bag is everything. So I've noticed y'all in just following this bag that Dooney and Burke will bring this bag back to the website like around their summer fun sale and like their 12 days of Dooney around Christmas time. You'll see this bag pop up in this color. That is actually the perfect time to get it. Now, if you are in search of this bag though, you can certainly find it on the resale market for a decent price. And then also even if you have like specific colors that you're wanting, you can find this bag style y'all on the resale market. So yeah, I highly recommend 
like picking up this bag on the resale market. Okay, y'all, so the next Dooney and Burke bag that I recommend you picking up on the pre-love market is actually one that I recently moved out of. And I must say, y'all, when I first started carrying this bag, I had a love-hate relationship for it. But now, y'all, every time I pull this bag out and carry her, which... <laughs> I hate to say it hasn't been often, but every time I do pull it out and carry it, I just fall in love all over again with the style because I have finally learned how to carry this bag. So the next bag, y'all, that I am talking about is this beautiful bag right here. This is my Dooney and Burke a pebble grain Layla in this beautiful taupe color. And this color is just everything, y'all. This color is more of like a neutral to me and I have fun with it. So I'll actually pop in a photo of like my last setup with this bag. And as y'all can see, I really had fun with the accessories. I actually still have my Twilly on here. I need to take it off before putting this bag back up. But yeah, this bag, y'all, is just everything. And originally, when I would carry this bag, I didn't really care for it because the snaps here on the side, they would pop open and I did not like that. But y'all, over the years, I have learned that I needed to like have more slimmer pouches in this bag to make it work. And this last go around, y'all, I had no issues with the snap or anything. So yes, I highly recommend you checking this bag out on the pre-love market. I did purchase this bag from Dooney and Burke about, let me think, it's, it was five years ago. Five years ago, I actually picked up this bag from Dooney and Burke. And it was actually during their, like, one of their summer fun sales. So, again, y'all, another great bag that I highly, highly recommend. So, y'all, this next bag is one that I fell in love with when I saw it on my Tribe Sisters channels, um, Kimberly Mines, and Anj Loves Dooney. So, this bag, this bag, y'all, is, is she's stunning. She is just everything. So, the next bag, y'all, that I highly recommend you checking out on the pre-love market is this beauty right here. This is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Kristen in this beautiful red color. And y'all, this red. Next to pink, y'all, I think red is like my next favorite color. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. And as y'all can see, like, look at, look at how this leather is glistening. Like, Kristen and Florentine is such a boss bag. Such a boss bag. I love this bag, y'all. It does come with the two outside pockets, side pockets right here which I do typically use to put like my phone in there or even like sanitizer things that I'm reaching for quickly, I put in there. And I love this bag, y'all, because of this little droop here. Now, I will say though, y'all, I almost missed out on this bag. I did pick it up from the Dooney and Burke website. And at the time, y'all, I almost hesitated on picking it up because I was getting a lot of mixed reviews. So some were saying that this strap right here just wasn't long enough um, to go on their shoulder. And then I was watching some videos that were saying that, you know, over time with you carrying this bag, it will develop the smell and it will give you more leeway when it comes to the straps. And y'all, I'm so glad that I took a chance because this bag right here is perfect on my shoulder. Um, I love carrying it as a shoulder bag. I also like carrying it in the crook of my arm. And it's just a great bag. Now, unfortunately, just like the other bags that I've shown y'all, this bag isn't available on the Dooney and Burke website, but there are a ton of Kristen bags on the pre-love market. So yes, I highly recommend you going and checking out this bag if you are interested as well. And I hope that Dooney brings the silhouette back. So, and let me show y'all really quick the bottom of her too. So yeah, I love her. All right, y'all, so we are down to the last bag that I recommend you checking out on the pre-love market. This bag, y'all, is a fan fave when it comes to the Dooney and Burke community. And that is my Dooney and Burke Leisure. This one is actually in the Brown Tomorrow novelty print. And this bag is so fun, y'all. It is such a fun bag. Great tote. Um, the shoulder drop, I have no issues with. If anything, it's just long on my frame. But I love this bag, y'all. And I still do want this bag in the Florentine leather. Y'all, the Florentine leather 
and the leisure is so hard to come by. Um, I almost had my hands on one one time, but somebody beat me to it. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, this bag in Florentine leather is so hard to come by, but you can certainly find this bag on the pre-love market in the coated canvas. So yes, I highly recommend you picking up this bag if you're interested in it. Um, Dooney and Burke, they did bring this bag back for like a couple of minutes <laughs> last year, like late last year on the I Love Dooney website, I saw it, and then it just went away. Um, I know I did post this bag on my community tab when I saw it, and there was a subby of mine that was able to get her hands on it. So I'm so happy for you, still so happy for you. But yeah, y'all, this bag I highly, highly recommend. Um, she is a nice size tote, great for every day, um, great as a work tote. When I first got this bag, I carried it um, into work all of the time. Um, it just worked. It was just a good, good, good tote. So yeah, this is bag number five. So that is that y'all, that concludes this video. Those are the five bags that I highly recommend you checking out on the pre-love market. And sound up in the comments too y'all and let me know if there are any Dooney and Burt bags that you have on your long wish list that you would love to get your hands on too. I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.